So for a keyword plan, the first thing we have to do, of course, is to get keywords. So what um, I do is I go straight into key search. I'm on the first screen. I entered best bread maker. I selected United States and I kept it a keyword planner. Now I selected United States because that's the market I'm targeting. If you're targeting a different country, then you're gonna wanna select that there. Um, you just press search and then this comes back. Um, now what you're interested in is all of these words here, all well, 701 of them, which is obviously far more than we really want. Um, so if you can at all try and filter something out, like is, if, a key, if one of these words, uh, keywords in this list don't include one of your words up here, you know, can you exclude it? So I would say for this, for my example, you know, if it doesn't have bread in it, then it's definitely not right. Um, unfortunately, I don't think, I think you could have best maker for bread or something might be one. So I wouldn't want to say be bread maker, but bread should be pretty safe. Um, now also number of keywords, because it probably will bring things back like bread or you can just say bread maker here, like that's not something you would aim for. So you're pretty safe to say, and um, in this example, a minimum number of three words too. Um, I'd also get volume. I'm gonna look at 20 up. And that will help get rid of some of them to make the next step a little bit easier. Okay, so we've got rid of half of them, so that's a plus. Um, now what I do right now is I export this to CSV, which is very easy in Key Search. And then I go open that CSV um, and manually filter out the keywords that are no good. Okay, so we've got our spreadsheet. Now, we don't care about these things, so they can go. We just care about keyword and volume. And basically what I do at this stage is I go through and I just remove ones that aren't sort of relevant keywords that I don't, you know, so I wanna include everything I would like to rank for in this. So, you know, best bread maker, um, bread maker reviews, definitely, you know, they're important. Um, some of them will be brands, and that's okay too. That can help you decide what products to put into your buying guide, um, but I tend to like, move the brands sort of to the side. So I might put them over here um, because they'll be different and I keep all the more general ones together. That sort of helps me do the plan in the next step. And I just remove ones altogether that aren't worthwhile. Like there's a lot of ones that look like brands there. You know, bread baking machine. Um, you know, it's interesting 170 people put that in there. So I would, I would put that in my article. Cheap bread maker. Um, all these looking pretty relevant. So that's what was good about that filter. Um, but basically go through and look and see, you know, there, there will be stuff in here which isn't relevant um, and then just remove it so that you don't need to include it. Because at the end of this, you're basically going to have a list of keywords that you want to include in your article. Um, now, one more thing I will say is if you've still got lots, like a lot of these look relevant. Um, here's one I would remove, bread mix for bread machine. We're not talking about bread mix. Um, is to just, um, if there's still lots, get rid of the ones with low number of searches. Um, so I did 20 there, but considering we've got so many at the moment, we'll probably find, like we can sort this by data. Um, obviously the, the more that they have, the more important. Um, these recipe ones I would get rid of. Um, any more that say recipe. But if you've still got a lot left, the ones you get rid of are these ones at the bottom. Like, 20 searches, I wouldn't bother. There's so many, I would get rid of all the ones with 20 searches, for example. Um, so basically at the end of this step, what you wanna have is a list of all the keywords you want to try and rank for. Um, I would keep this list, um, 100 or less is probably a good number. Um, the less there is, the easier it will be for you to write it, but then of course, um, less chance to rank. So, I mean, it is good to include as many as you can, um, but I would try and get it under 100 keywords. So pick the best 100.